My friend, today I ask you to turn to God as your source of courage. We often think of courage as something that we have to muster up all by ourselves, that we have to have it in us already, that it has to be what we're made of. Maybe we were born with it. Maybe we developed it over time. But I tell you, you have a source of courage with you, and that is God. And God can come through you and make the faint-hearted like a rock. If your courage needs bolstering today, pause and give thought to the source of courage. I remember I was visiting Hot Springs, Arkansas one time, and we were going to the source of the Mountain Valley water to see where it came out of the mountain. Well, that is what caused the water to be good, and they always say that it was bottled at the source. Well, so is your courage. Your courage is bottled literally, contained literally within you, and fed constantly by the power of God. Remember that God is your source of courage, and that God's power in you is unfailing, but also another important point, it is unlimited. As you quiet yourself and center your thoughts in God, poise and peace will fill you. You'll have a new courage come to you no matter how much you have been knocked down in mind and in, in human life. When God infills you with courage, you're made new. And obstacles literally will disappear from your mind first and then from your imagination and then in front of you as you rely on the guidance of God. And when you rely on the guidance of God, well, that takes courage many times because you may not see with your human eyes the way to go. And yet God is telling you to go that way. God is telling you to put one foot in front of the next and that there will be a bridge over that valley, even though you cannot see the bridge right now. You will rely on the wisdom of God. Your mind will be strengthened. It will not be weak. It will not falter. Courage will be yours as you remember that nothing can separate you from the love of God and the courage of God at its source.